Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to read an article put out by the Jamaica Fire Brigade, read the safe use of the roads in Jamaica. Now recently there was a very unfortunate incident where a fire truck was doing its job or the firefighters were doing their job of trying to put out a fire and a car crashed into the fire truck it was a very unfortunate incident so the jamaica fire brigade commissioner is urging responsible road use so they put out an article which we're going to go through today and then we discuss it after still mourning the traffic death of one of its own due to the reckless road use the leadership of the Jamaica Fire Brigade is making an appeal to motorists to use the nation's roads responsibly. On November 30 last year, 25-year-old Lorenzo Deuce, who was attached to the Ocheres Fire Station, was killed after a motorist overtook a line of traffic along the Ocheres Main Road and crashed into the back of a fire truck parked at the side of the road. Firefighter Deuce, who was alone at the back of the truck, was crushed by the impact. JFB Commissioner Stuart Beckford said, It is really an unfortunate matter because as firefighters we are exposed on a daily basis to the dangers that lurk on our roads. He lamented that the young fireman was killed doing what he loved best and described him as a firefighter who was very committed to his job and no doubt would have spent maybe his working life in service of the people of Jamaica. The JFB commissioner who was speaking at the handover of the new Port Maria fire station in St. Mary said that this matter is before the police. There are too many families in this country that are mourning the loss of loved ones due to reckless, recklessness on the part of some of our drivers. While we struggle to come to grips with the loss of this firefighter and the circumstances under which he was killed, we are still grateful as it could have been two or three of them on that day, he noted. He recalled that just two days prior to the incident, a team of firefighters in the vicinity of the Trelawney and St. Anne border stopped to inspect their fire truck, which seemed to have developed mechanical issues. They were under the truck when a motor vehicle slammed into the back of the unit. One firefighter sustained injuries and had to seek medical attention. These are the dangers These are the dangers as firefighters that we face on a daily basis and a lot can be avoided if we only use the road properly, Commissioner Beckford said. He is imploring motorists to, des to desist from tailgating our fire trucks when we are responding to emergency. That is reckless and dangerous action that can result in loss of life. In his remarks, Prime Minister the Most Honorable Andrew Holness also paid tribute to the late fireman. I want to join you, Commissioner, in paying my respect to your young firefighter. I was devastated to learn that this firefighter in doing his job was mowed down by reckless and careless driving, dangerous driving. And I want to join you in paying tribute and appealing to our road users to drive with care, the Prime Minister said. He pointed out that the new Road Traffic Act, which takes effect on February 1, will help to curb indiscipline on the nation's roads and will see motorists facing tougher penalties or breaches. Alright, so that's the end of the article. It was a very unfortunate incident and to know it happened because of careless driving or dangerous driving it's it's very sad all right guys let us know what you think you can leave your comments in the section below all right guys have a good day